Good morning and welcome to this week's virtual assembly on Thursday the 5th of November. So as you may be aware, the legislation round about the delivery of physical, physical education has been changed and updated so that now from Monday the 2nd of November we are permitted to deliver PE lessons indoors. We're using this week as a transition week so that pupils can get used to the different indoor environment, but also, um, quite importantly, the changing rooms and the routines that we expect and the mitigations to keep everybody safe. They, they also will apply during PE indoor lessons and in the changing rooms. And therefore, that means that from Monday the 9th of uh, November, we will be expecting all pupils um, to come to school in their full school uniform and not in their PE kit as we've had to do up till now. So just to, to remind our pupils, school uniform from Monday with PE kits in your bags because you now can use our changing rooms. So just as a reminder of the school uniform, there's the school tie for whichever year group that you are in. And also you can see there, those are the pupils who were awarded sports colours this year with, with their sports ties. So um, school ties, white shirt, um, black bottoms, black trousers, skirts, um, nothing too revealing girls, please. Um, and a black shoes or black trainers with white trim. And we also ask young people, as far as they can, to wear a black or dark outer jacket. But if that's not possible, um, and if their outer wear is not of school colours, we'll be asking them to remove those in classrooms. So, you know, to, to wear a black jumper or cardigan if you are feeling the cold. Um, so, school uniform from Monday the 9th, and it'll be lovely to see our young people back um, wearing their uniforms again. Just while I mentioned the cold there, we're waiting for guidance from Aberdeenshire Council about winter ventilation and windows open during class time is just one of the many mitigations to help the spread of the virus. But um, we will be sensible and we will not be having all windows wide open when the temperatures are very, very cold. So we'll have more information on that to follow as I receive it from the Council. So on Friday the 13th of November, it's uh, Children in Need Day. So to mark that occasion, the senior pupils have asked for a further dress down day um, and they have chosen the theme as come as yourself and that is uh, linked around their uh, support for for uh, mental health for young people and so that young people can come in their individual choice of clothing um, albeit uh, decent for school please and um, they would be asked to bring a pound for collection for the, the charity children in need. Um, last time we did bucket collections at the pupil entrances in the morning and that worked very, very well. And it, um, you know, took away the need for registered teachers to be in contact and touching money and things like that. So in terms of, of COVID mitigations, that this is, this is a, a very good way to collect any uh, donations that people would care to, to participate in. So that is next Friday. So um, looking a wee bit further into the future, um, our canteen staff have come up with a fantastic idea to um, it's tease out the, 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 the time span of serving Christmas lunches. We normally do this on one day and it's, it's a lovely day, but it's hectic, I can tell you, because every member of staff and the vast majority of pupils want to partake in Christmas lunch, as you can imagine. So um, the Christmas lunches will be for different year groups on different Wednesdays from Wednesday the 18th up until the last week of term. And the, the fifth and sixth year will get their Christmas lunch on Wednesday the 16th. Obviously, there will be other uh, healthy choices. There will be vegetarian, vegan choices as well for those who don't wish to partake in a Christmas lunch or, um, or, 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 or have different faith and background that don't celebrate Christmas. But that option is open and it will be less frantic um, having each year group getting their day for Christmas lunch. So that's something for most of us to look forward to. 
Tonight is bonfire night and just as we keep repeating the safety messages, it's really, really important that young people, if they are out and about tonight and over the weekend where there may be, um, you know, bonfires or a, you know, more privately family arranged things, um, we, we just urge young people to be very, very safe if they are in and around any fireworks. Um, I would hate for any young person to be injured in any way. Um, in partaking in one fair night. So, in terms of um, discussing safety, um, just a, just a, a further message about COVID nineteen. Um, the NHS have um, released a series of posters um, aimed at at young people, um, young adults, and this one I uh, found quite interesting and quite relevant. That the image of the grandfather. In the corner there, saying that he wishes his grandson wouldn't go out all the time because of the the worry and anxiety that might be um, there for elderly or more more medically vulnerable people, um, thinking that um, when youngsters are out and about, potentially they could contract the virus unknowingly and transfer that on to elderly or more vulnerable people. So it's just a reminder to everyone that um, we can't be complacent and we need to continue to follow all of the rules and mitigations that are in place for our school and, and for our country. Thank you for listening.